Hey guys, just finished watching Iron Fist Season 1, Episode 7. Um, feeling the tree roots. Feeling with the tree roots. Um, wow, this episode was pretty interesting. That ending, I did not see that one coming. I, I saw the reverse and stuff. Um, you know, I just really love uh, the, where his, his, his um, where he's going, this guy. Um, I forget his name. Um, but it's definitely interesting to see uh, how things are turning on and how he's following with his addiction to, to drugs and stuff like that. Um, and how, you know, uh, Colleen Wig and Danny, their relationship is pretty interesting, seeing how that goes and back and forth. Um, and then seeing where things go um, with his brother Ward. Um, and where Ward is his, his, his path, I think it's pretty cool. I think I like the way it's going with it. That's, definitely can't wait to see where that's going. I feel like he's becoming a super, so going to become a super villain or something like that somehow. Um, if he ends up teaming up with um, the hand or something like that, it's going to be interesting to see where things go with that. Uh, and I definitely, things are getting so ramped up. I feel like you know, the end of this episode, of this show, episode 13, is probably going to lead right into, it will lead right into Defenders, but I feel like it's going to be the timeline in between the, each show might just be, you know, no more than a week, I would say. But I would even say, it could even say it being uh, a year, like less than, even a day, less than a day in between the end of this, ep end of the 13th episode and this. So this is definitely getting me excited for the rest of this season. Um, and so it's definitely is a, is a great episode. Um, there's there's a lot of action. Love it. I love the dealing with um, finding out that Madame Gao is literally in Ren Industries and how deep everyone is in the uh, Ren Industries. And he's looking into his his father and stuff, finding that there's nothing. There's only his key card and things like that. Um, which I definitely can't wait to see him talk to uh, to uh, Ren talk to uh, Danny talk to Joy about it and see if. Um, uh, what he thinks about it, what she thinks about this, if she even knew about this or anything like that. So it's definitely really interesting. Um, and even though now that, uh, that spoiler alert, Harold is dead. Um, but, um, you know, that was pretty interesting seeing that. And uh, um, I was never sure, like, is he good? Is he bad? Is he, you know, he's with the hand, but he doesn't want to be with the hand and things like that. It's all messed up. And definitely can't wait to see how things continue on and find out, you know, is Joy going to find out that his her father was alive and then killed by her brother? I mean, I think that's really going to mess her up if, if he does do something like that, if th things happen like that. That'll be really interesting to see how that goes, you know, does, um, how does he, because, you know... I definitely can't wait to see how these things are going to happen. I mean, is someone going to find the bodies and stuff, and then he's going to get in trouble, and that's how she's going to find out and all that stuff. And, you know, he's going to be there, and it's going to be a really big um, uh, mess of a thing like that. And I think it's really interesting to see how they, they're dealing with, um, you know, the hand being inside of Rand Industries. I mean, I think it's cool that they're setting that up that way, you know, for Defenders. He doesn't have, uh, you know, all of his, uh, I mean, I mean, it seems like he still has his money because he still has his expensive apartment, his expensive car and things like that. So even if we go into, um, you know, into uh, defenders, and you know he doesn't have the company, but he has all that. Then he might have uh, some of that to do. Um, but then again, you know, with all of his good and wanting to help and stuff like that, I could see him, you know, at the end of this episode, donating all of his money to someone or putting all of his own money into uh, something that way. In defenders, he doesn't have a cent to uh, to carry on. He, all he has is literally his fist, you know, and stuff like that, and the other defenders. So I think that's going to be interesting to see how we go into uh, defenders with that um, and how things continue on from there. So it definitely is interesting, um, and I definitely hope that by the end of this this season maybe he kind of learned to um use the uh, the the you learn to use um the uh the, the his chi a little bit better because there's talking about times where people are like oh can you show me the iron fist and say like, no i can't do it and uh, then again you know he just kind of um opens up the uh the the elevator and just turns on his iron fist like nothing so it's kind of seems a bit um you know, weird as, you know, he could be able to do it this time, sometimes not the other times. Um, but then again, you know, for the elevator, I guess it makes sense that, you know, he's, he was spying on Gao, he was looking at her, he was going that, he fought the other girl, so he's been, you know, as his, as he's getting mad and mad type thing, he's able to use it, something like that. So I think it's kind of, um, I guess that's where it makes sense that he's able to just turn it on for the elevator to go to slide down the elevator like he did. Um, but I definitely can't wait to see him, I'd like to see him, you know, uh, learn to use more of his um, his chi, be able to use it a little bit more frequently um, for for defenders. That'll definitely be hopefully that'll be interesting to see something like that if he can learn that. Maybe you know he meets Stick and the defenders and uh, Daredevil, and then you know he teaches it. They teach each other different steps to make themselves uh, you know better and stuff like that and things like that. That could help him with his chi or something like that. I think that would definitely be fun to see that. Um, and then also I think it'd be cool to see Iron Fist um, teach Jessica Jones some uh, you know to meditate and stuff like. 
like that. Or I know I feel like Luke Cage might be able to meditate. I mean, he's been in he's he'll be in prison right now as we currently are watching this show. So um, I definitely can't wait to see maybe. Uh, but I think it'd definitely be interesting to see Iron Fist try and teach uh, Jessica Jones to meditate. I think that'll be fun to see that and see you know how she would do it and if she's. Um, you know how long she would last to be able to try and meditate. I think that'd be funny to see that in Defender. So definitely is a fun episode of this episode. And I love where things are going with this, and I definitely can't wait to see episode eight. Um, but I gotta, but I gotta go to work. So yeah, let me know what you think, guys, about episode seven in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.